Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. I was telling the other signs, uh, the the previous four signs that, you know, I am experience, experiencing a little bit of time constraints because I'm traveling for the next few days. And so I'm going to try to keep this reading brief, like under 20 minutes. But I feel like the reading for this month, um, the, the later half of this month, is going to be a little bit complex. So it's going to run over, but I'll, I'll try my best to, you know, articulate what I'm feeling and uh, to relay messages for you guys. Okay, so bear with me. Um, when I was shuffling, what I sensed was... Um, it, like the, the words that came to mind were the origins. Let's retrace our steps to go back to the very beginning of something. And um, I'm going to go off on a tangent here, so just bear with me. Every culture in history has origin stories, okay? Every religion even tries to explain how the world came into existence, how things came to be with their own sets of folklores that talks about origins, that talks about creation, right? And then I feel for you guys in the same way, um, there's a, a situation in your life where you're trying to figure out you're trying to figure out what is the cause of something what is the beginning like like how did this situation transpire how did everything come to be and so I feel you kind of retracing your steps and I don't see you doing it physically I see you doing it in a more mental manner um, like taking a trip down memory lane trying to remember what happened first what happened second trying to uh, figure out a timeline or to create a chain, um, to, to understand the chain of events that were set in motion and how a situation either came to be or spiraled out of control or just how it, how one thing led to another, okay? And so the image that I saw that corroborated those um, ideas were, I saw like the Nautilus shell, okay? So it's, it's kind of like a spiral, okay? It originates from something from the very, very beginning. And I guess as the crustacean gets a little bit bigger and bigger, there are more circles, there are more rings, the shells get a little bit bigger, okay? But it all spirals outward from a source. So something has to happen, something has to trigger this first event for things to spiral out almost in a very fast, but also a linear fashion. Um, I'm seeing what that denotes to me is definitely the whole process about retracing your steps, trying to figure out the source of a situation, the source of contention, the source of uh, how things came to be. And then the second image that I saw was, it's actually really beautiful. Um, I see this like Renaissance um, kingdom. So it's a really, really big town and uh, there's a castle in the middle of it and it's made from like alabaster stone, okay? So it's like this white ivory tower that zooms into this white ivory tower. There are like church bells ringing in the background and there's a, this woman in the ivory tower. It has like a, an arch uh, doorway or it seems like a, a window and she's up there looking down at the world so she has this like complete bird's eye view of the entire city the bridge the the river the the boats that are carrying goods uh and you know sailors and, and people coming towards the docks and she has like the 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 she sees the expanse of the city she sees how it has changed over time how people have come in settle and it became more populated okay and then there's a, a, a like a rush of wind that comes through, sweeps into the tower, and there's a messenger pigeon that's coming in. It lands on her hand, and you can tell uh, where by its its claw, it's holding a message. So I feel for you guys in in particular, there are definitely messages, messengers coming into the picture to deliver some long awaited news or some really really good outstanding news that you will be really excited to hear okay so i'm seeing like that second message was just very um it's very emotionally fulfilling is, is what i'm seeing 
Um, so what I feel here with these few um, cards that are coming out is um, there's an element of things coming full circle. Things being, it's almost like um, somebody um, digging holes into the ground, planting something, um, putting a stake in the ground, resurrecting a home for some of you, solidifying that I'm no longer a nomadic. I want to settle down here. I want to, you know, uh, build a ranch, build a cottage, create a life for myself. So there's a set sense of like uh, settling down, um, setting down roots, putting down roots as well. Coming into the picture, there's also a sense of like retracing our steps. Let's go back to the beginning. Oh wow, you have, um, I shuffle the cards very, very thoroughly and you have two cards that uh, Aquarius receives, okay? So if you're dealing with Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart, you might want to watch that reading too because I feel like the messages might overlap from this reading and the Aquarius reading. Where was I? Yeah, I'm sorry that um, this is a, I'm a little bit like slow when it comes to relaying these messages. It is very, very late here where I am and I have um, a full day of traveling tomorrow. So I apologize ahead of time, Pisces. So let me just get the other cards out of the picture up onto the table and then we'll go ahead with the reading. I need a clarifier. Let's do two, please. Yep, you've got the messenger once again, and I need a clarifier here, please. Two. Perfect. Okay. So, let me just uh, try to flush out that first image that I saw with the Nautilus shell, okay? And uh, I mentioned this with the Virgo reading and I mentioned heavily, you know, Virgo is your polar opposite in the Zodiac wheel, right? Um, the, the Virgo and people are so structured, okay? Their life is very regimented and uh, they, they, they kind of have like this life plan for themselves, you know, at any point in their lives, they always have like goals and, and like timelines, okay? Everything is planned out very meticulously. Uh, when I'm 30, I need to be at the peak of my career. When I'm 31, I should ideally, you know, have a house. When I'm 32, I should have a life partner. When I'm 33, I should possibly have a kid. When I'm 35, I should be like at the peak of my career with like a dog, a minivan, you know, things like that. They have everything meticulously planned out. And I told Virgos that the process of planning out everything down to the T, it's, um, it, it's very, very stressful. So if you have Virgo and friends, uh, you look at them and it seems like they're doing things with such ease. It seems like their life is very, very stable. It, it seems like you might admire a lot of your Virgo and um, co-workers, colleagues, friends, um, even partner, okay? Because everything that they do is meticulously planned out. And on the opposite end of the spectrum with you guys, you guys are a lot more free flowing. You guys are a lot more creative. You guys are a little bit more, uh, I, I feel like whatever will come, will come. Um, you're not like um, stringently, you know, planning out every single detail of your life. You don't, we generally have like a timeline for ourselves when we want to get certain things accomplished. But I feel like with for, for a lot of Piscean people, whatever will come, will come. I'm not going to be a control freak and try to compartmentalize and try to, you know, um, set myself up in a linear fashion. I want to be able to enjoy whatever that comes in, to grab new opportunities, to be nimble and to, you know, uh, be flexible. And so I feel like that the message that I deliver to Virgo there is a switcheroo between the energies between you and your polar opposite. Because with the Virgo reading, it was more like, be more like the Pisces, be less obsessive, be less of a planner, be more open, be more receptive, be more creative and less critical. 
and then now coming for you guys it's all about planning a little bit more you're you're definitely planning dreams are coming true things are like uh spiraling not out of control but you set things in motion from the point of origin and now steps are laid out for you and now you have this linear path that you're walking along your reputation is getting bigger and bigger your capabilities are growing your sense of responsibilities too because you've mastered things and people entrust you with things but i feel more than anything your reputation you know you have this bird's eye view if in the past you have been feeling very very muddled where am i going for two within the next two years what career do i want you know i feel like something is now at a point where it's like you're seeing the big picture you're getting the lay of the land and you already know this is where i'm headed so if you need to do any course correction you know exactly what actions you need to take in order to get yourself back on that course okay and then on the other hand you have a bird's eye view where you can anticipate two years from now this is what i'm going to do five years from now this is what my life is going to look like and it's it's coming in that way because you have always allowed the universe to let things come in for you but i feel like within the past few years especially the past the previous two years you know 2017 2018 you did something to really set things in motion to steer your life back on the rightful course to start doing things and living your life as a free person so i don't know if some of you might have been under um i literally feel like under somebody's thumbs okay uh working or doing things based on expectations of other people and now you're just like no this is my life and i'm gonna do it um, the way that i want so it could be family expectation cultural expectations societal expectations for example and now you're just like, no, I, I, I don't want to walk that straight and narrow path anymore. I want to do a spiral. Okay. So that could be it. Or some of you have like, um, finished some major phase in your life. So for example, if you were working in a contract basis and they sign your contract for like two years, for example, and then you're just like, uh, while you're working, you're just like, oh my gosh, two years is going to be around the corner. After two years, then I have to find another job. And so you were working, working with the, the thought of the impending two year limit, kind of like on the back of your mind. And it, it brought a lot of stress. And you're just like, I'm going to excel at my job. I'm going to do a really, really good job so that they renew my contract. But then once the two years, like it, it's almost over, you're just like, I don't even want to work for these people anymore not that there's anything wrong with it but you're just like i want the independence i don't want to have that you know contract deadline limit on the back of my mind i want to be able to come and go where i please and i also feel like you have really uh up your game when it comes to your professional image and your reputation it's getting like i said bigger and bigger so you're in a uh, place where you don't need them to renew your contract. You're very employable. And so if you, you might have put yourself out there in the world, you know, looking for new jobs, looking for new connections, looking for a new company that you can jump into, like jump ship. Okay. And I feel like those opportunities have been coming in. And you're realizing that, you know, this two year contract is not going to fly anymore. It, it was a tool to keep me tethered to them and to keep me hanging on without promising me anything stable or anything solid. I'm not playing that game anymore. I'm going to stay ahead of the curve and to, you know, explore my other options. OK, so that's what I'm feeling here. Um, I feel like there might have been a work situation where people were a little bit kind of like under the radar or um, not completely transparent with what they were doing, with their intentions for you, with their plans for you. I feel like they kept you very, very tethered, waiting for them, hanging on at their beck and call. And because of that, 
I do feel like you are seeing the situation for what it is and you're not really wanting to engage in that anymore okay so what i have here is the seven of swords this is like sneaky behavior um making like getting away with the spoils in the middle of the night okay and it's somebody definitely being found out and i feel like this might have been in the work environment where you're waiting 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 okay three of wands waiting for your ship to come in is that contract going to get renewed? Am I going to get a sponsor? I do see a lot of travel and movement as well. Visa sponsorship. So for example, example, if you're waiting on a work visa, if you're waiting for feedback, if you're waiting for an interview, if you're waiting for a promotion, if you're waiting for your superiors to recognize that you're doing a really good job and for them to give you the compensation or even the recognition or even the promotion that you deserve. I feel like somebody's whispering, you know, sweet words into your ear and they're like oh we're gonna promise you all these things and then at the end of the day you're just like you know what talk is cheap I want you to deliver and as a result of that they kept you hanging on but you're at a point where you are a lot more intuitive you're being a lot more I want to say you're seeing beneath their motives okay you're you're like un un unearthing and then like really figuring out what are their motives? Why are they telling me this? Why are they telling me this at this moment in time when I'm thinking about exploring my other options? So that's what I feel is happening here. You're unearthing something. You're coming to the realization of something. The veil is lifted. You're behaving more like a Virgo where you're thinking in a very practical, rational way and you're kind of like critical. Why are they telling me this right now when it's like they're afraid to lose you for some of you this could also be playing out in a relationship as well we have here the two of cups this is greatly about love relationships okay contracts as well why are they telling me this now when they see me withdrawing my energy or about to go or about to leave and so i feel like somebody is making up to you making it up to you or like making you promises they are going to deliver because they're afraid to lose you. But I feel like in the past, they might have done something that, that kept you kind of like tether, kept you holding on, giving you high hopes. And now they're getting very, very serious because they are af afraid that you have other options. You're going to leave, that you know, you're not gonna be waiting around. Your back is partially halfway turned and you can you know bolt out that door any minute now. The Three of Wands is all also about like working really hard for something and seeing the results of it okay so it's sort of like all the news that you've been sending out to the universe uh job applications making connections and things like that or even you know sending out love to another person it's coming back home to roost so like i said um the, the pigeon in the ivory tower bringing a message that's what i'm seeing here okay this is a messenger here the page of wands and the little bird with a note in his beak this is like really 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 great news that will be a cause for celebration with you there's also something about a writing assignment um possibly you might have written something an article a journal a uh, getting published for example you might have written an article in a journal or you might have sent something for publication you might have finished a book you might have finished a big big project that involves a lot of writing um, I also feel news coming through in written form, such as a letter, an email, um, text messages as well, but I feel like it's a little bit more on the professional end because of this letter that's, uh, this scroll that's hanging off, or banner that's hanging off his horn here. It's like something very official. Some official documents are being sent to you. And then as a result of that, we have the Eight of Cups. It allows you to move on because it brings about new opportunities okay so like the the things are spiraling things are happening very very fast and you're going to start to see an acceleration of that okay news coming in very fast communication coming in through very very quickly so things are not no longer at a snail's pace you're no longer at the beck and call of somebody else you're kind of like flying over your emotional problems or flying over an emotional ordeal and freeing yourself really lifting yourself up off the ground and really freeing yourself 
So we have some really beautiful things. I pulled out those two cards to clarify uh, the death card. And this is a major news, major transformation that's coming through in the picture. That's going to uh, allow your life to reset or restart in a big way. Okay. In a different like 180, um, like um, turn, but I also feel like a turn of events. And I keep seeing the spiral, the Nautilus shell. So it's like things are getting bigger and bigger. Um, you know, like that, that snowball, right? Snowballing. It, it's it starts out really little. It rolls down the hill, gathers momentum and also collects more snow. And then it just like becomes really, really big. And it's like things set in motion. So I feel like we have some really powerful cards and energies coming through the later part of this, um, this month for you guys. First of all, we have here a very, very big wish coming into the picture. We have the star and this is wish fulfillment, something that you have been, you've been dreaming about. Okay. It's like the star, the big star is right above her head. Okay. She's like doing other things. She's um, doing, she, she's like, it's sort of like this wish you're just like, it's out of reach. It's, it's too good to be true. It's never going to happen for me, but you always wonder. So she's always looking up at it like, oh, if only, you know, and then while she's dreaming about it, um, thinking about it, she's, you know, managing her responsibilities, work life, personal life, taking care of things, taking care of this little bird right here, uh, tending to her garden, possibly like, you know, getting her life together. And this wish has always been in the back of her mind. If only, if only had that. And so the star card signifies something is coming in in a very, very big way. For some of you, we have here a big career boost. We also have as well. So the dream that you might have had um, and, and you feel like it's slightly too good to be true, or it's just like a pipe dream, or it's just out of reach, it's coming in. Your ships are coming in. <clears throat> For others of you, this might be on the relationship front. Wanting a stable relationship, wanting a harmonious relationship, wanting to see eye to eye with another person, not wanting to argue anymore, wanting to understand and have some type of a major transformation and breakthrough with another person. For those of you who have had uh, relationship issues and you've gone through like a counselor, a marriage counselor, a guidance counselor, whatever it is, you're getting some major emotional breakthroughs that will really, really help the two of you bond together. And then I also feel like, you know, marriage and stability, okay? This is a soulmate connection. We also have here the four of wands, which is solidifying a relationship, taking relationships to the next level, moving in together, getting married, getting engaged, making something very, very official. And I also feel with the Hierophant, this is like under the eyes of the laws, you guys are legally married. So I see like a lot of proposals, a lot of love, a lot of um, escalation, moving the relationship to the next level as well with the Ace of Cups. So there is a major outpouring of love coming into the picture so if there's something that you have been waiting on for a really long time your wish is coming true if you have um you know if, if like somebody has been kind of like taking you for granted for example thinking you're not going to leave and you're just like drift starting to drift away i feel like they're they're kicking themselves and they're just like uh, they're getting more serious. Okay. You're kind of like turning away and they don't want to lose you. So they're stepping up their game. They're becoming more serious. They're taking things seriously. So I feel like there's, there's a lot of good news happening in your environment as it relates to those of you who might be in a relationship where you're really solidifying your plans. You are creating plans with one another as a couple. So it's not just, you know, me anymore. It's, it's like um, working together with another person to create some very, very solid, practical, pragmatic, long-term, long-lasting and stable plans with another person. There's a lot to celebrate here, okay? You have as well some news coming through. We have as well the, uh, this is the Page of Cups, okay? So we have Page of Wands, good news on the business front. Page of Cups, good news coming through on the uh, relationship front. And I also feel like you might even have somebody, if you, you might even have somebody that might be making like flirtatious gestures 
at you. You could be single or married or in a relationship. They're still really, you know, giving you like the, um, they're, they're flirting with you heavily. Okay. And I see for some of you, you're not really sure what to do, but you might not engage in this type of behavior because you feel like, oh, if I'm in a relationship, then I want to honor that. So I'm not going to respond. Or if you feel like they're in a relationship, then you're definitely not going to respond because you want to honor the, the sanctity of your relationship or their relationship. And you're not going to dabble in that. So I feel like you're getting like a, a big breath of vision. You're getting that bird's eye view and you're starting to see how all the pieces fit together okay so I'm, I'm getting a lot of this big sense of major awareness coming in for you guys where you have a clearer sense when it comes to your career where you have a clearer sense when it comes to your relationship and then I also feel like you know really strong really 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 strong heavy soulmate connection new love coming into the picture at the end of this death card with the ace of cups really good news for those who are you know currently single and dating and i see escalation moving relationships to the next level for those of you who are already in existing relationships okay so there's a blending of really good positive energies okay um, I'm going to leave it at that and I apologize if the reading is a little bit shorter. I just have a severe time crunch right now. Uh, next month should be a lot better, but Pisces, thank you for watching. And for those who are interested in a reading, I have a link in the description box below for a psychic based out of California. She is phenomenal. I highly recommend that you get a reading with her and I will see you in about two months time. Okay. Enjoy the rest of this month. This is just a, a really amazing month. I feel like across the board for all the signs. So I'm really happy to see this energy for you guys. All right. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you guys soon.